Hey everybody, this is Larry with Leading Edge Industrial, and this is part two of our three-part series on CNC basics. And right now we're going to go over circular interpolation. Now G2 and G3 are how we go about creating arcs, and we create arcs in less than 180 degrees. Uh, that is a standard in CAD or in CAM, and uh, we do that by using the G2, which is a clockwise arc, or a G3, which is a counterclockwise arc. And what we're going to do here, I'm going to take you through step by step how we calculate these values and uh, what we're going to go about doing. As you can see here, this, this is our rectangle we've already done in video one, and we want to add this circle here. What I've done is added a few dimensions here. We've got our three by three inch square, and then we've got our rectangle. Yeah, I guess you call it square. Three by three inch square, and then we've got two endpoints that we're going to concentrate on. We're going to start at this point, and we're going to end here. And then we're going to start at this point for the second part of the circle and we're going to end here. So how do you go about calculating that? Well, if we go and we look at our, uh, our G code for this, up here is where we define what G2 and G3 is. And you'll notice that this is very similar to how you do G01 and G00. Uh, it has two new parameters that are added to it. We have an I term and a J term, and we always supply a feed rate with this. Uh, that was the way I was taught, so that's the way we're going to teach here. Um, we can also use I and J are basically a calculation to the radius. And what you do is you ha would have a starting point, which our starting point would be 1.5 and 1, which is the lower portion of the arc of our circle. And let's go back and look at that again. So that is 1.5 in X and 1 inch in Y. And that's the starting point right here. Now let's go back and look at our our notepad here and we want to we're going to move our machine over here and then what we do is we calculate i is the difference between the center of the circle and our starting point and j is the difference between the center of our circle y and the starting point and i should say i is the difference in x that's the delta x so the change from uh, the center of the circle to the starting point of your x and the same thing, J, is the difference between the Y center and the um, starting point. So now if we go over here, let's plug in our next line, N20, G02. And we want to go to the top of our circle, which is, uh, if we look at our circle here, remember the top of our circle is 1.5, 2.0. So let's go ahead and plug those numbers in there. So X... 1.5 y 2.0 our i term we're going to go ahead and calculate that now so we have our starting point of 1.5 in the x and y1 so let's go ahead and go to our um, spreadsheet here and as you can see i just created a small spreadsheet you can do this on paper as well but our starting point is x1 or uh, X 1.5, Y 1. So let's go ahead and plug that in. Hit enter, and that gives us 0.5 uh, in J and 0 and Y, or I, sorry. So let's go ahead and we're going to plug that in. I is 0, I 0 point, J 0 0.5. So we'll go back to our text. And we'll give it a feed rate of 30. So that way we can move pretty quickly. Now we're going to go ahead and finish up this circle. So we're going to cl or close the circle. So we're going to do N25. Next line, G2. Continue with the G2. X 1.5 since we're still on that dividing line. And we're going to go right back to our starting point, which is our uh, line 15, Y1. The difference between I and our starting point is 0 because they're directly in line. And let's go and figure out what J is. And that gives us minus 0.5, as you can see here. So we'll go ahead and plug that into our number as J minus 0.5. And feed rate of 30. And that's all we need to do to complete a circle. So let's go ahead over to, uh, let's go over to our universal G-code sender and let's type in those lines one at a time and then we'll run them. And then what I'll do is I'll download the program or I'll write the program in a text file and we'll execute a G2 full circle uh, in program mode 
and we'll do it at a one inch circle and then we'll do a G3, which is a counterclockwise arc at a two inch circle. And we'll just run that from a file. I'll make the file downloadable. If you notice, I'm at the lower left hand corner instead of the upper left hand corner like we started out before. I did this so that the math might be a little bit easier and we weren't working with negative numbers uh, just to make it a little easier on everybody. So let's go ahead and we're gonna move to our first position, which is G00. We're gonna wrap it over to X1.5 Y1. Okay, from there, we're going to type in G02, X1.5, Y2, I0, J.5. We're going to do a feed rate of 30. There we go. That's our circle. And now we're going to continue on and close it up. X1.5, Y1.5. I 0 point J minus 0.5 feed rate of 30 and hit enter. And now that closes our circle. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and grab our file and we're going to go ahead and run this as a G2, G3, and that'll end today's lesson. Okay, everybody, as you can see, we're back now. Um, what I've done is I've uh, jogged our position back over to X0, Y0, Z, one and a half inches above the work. This gives me the opportunity to go ahead and remove the cap from our pen again. So I'm gonna remove the cap from our pen, close up our, our door here, and then we're gonna go ahead and load the file and we'll run this and it should create two arcs or it'll create two arcs for us. Uh, in the G2, one in a circular or a clockwise motion and one in the counterclockwise motion. So let's go ahead and find our file and we'll hit go. Okay, and as our, our uh, cursor says, we've, uh, we've finished after 25 seconds, and that completes our lesson. So please click like and subscribe at the bottom, and uh, go on to video three, where we're going to take all of these lessons learned, and we're going to create a, uh, a gasket, or a part that has uh, uh, fillets and, and more circles on it. <laughs>